Hey, Stola Hansen here. In this video, we're gonna talk about how you can use Microsoft to do and OneNote together GTD style. Here's what I mean. So I use OneNote to capture meeting notes in the same section every time. I capture pictures in the same section every time. You know, those pictures you take at conferences, those whiteboards from meetings and so on. This is at the core of GTD. And to quote David Allen, he says, your mind is for having ideas, not holding them. Which means that we should not think about where we store our stuff and we should store it the same place every time. And the reason for this is because your mind keeps overwriting new memories with older memories. This is called proactive interference. I talk about this in detail in the video, my philosophy of capture. So take a look. I use OneNote for one more thing. It is static content and static content is where I create a section group where I store information that I'm going to find again and again and again, which is references. It is my speaker abstracts. It is scripts for my YouTube videos, but most important of all is my reflections of my job role, my career. It is wise to reflect on that every half year, every year. And that is taken straight out of the GTD playbook. As you see, I don't capture tasks in OneNote. Those goes into Microsoft To Do, where I have flagged emails, I have articles I want to read, thoughts and ideas I want to capture and work with later. I have been talking about task management and working structured in OneNote since 2016. But the moment Microsoft To Do got the ability to add steps to tasks, I switched. So now it's my main task management system. And I started creating YouTube videos on it. And one comment on one of the videos where, why did you give up tracking to-dos in OneNote? Your OneNote concept is great. I agree, but it makes sense to use to-do. And here's why. From all the places in Microsoft 365 where you can have personal tasks, you see that they end up in Microsoft To Do. I'm talking about flagged emails, Outlook tasks in OneNote, sticky notes and activity from Edge. So it makes sense to use To Do if you're working with Microsoft 365. One other thing you see here is that Planner has the same role for business productivity tasks. But let's look into To Do and what it looks like. In Microsoft To Do, you have two locations where you can store and capture information. The first one is simple, flagged emails. All your flagged emails from your inbox will go into this location. The second location is tasks. This is, this is where all your other activities go. And you remember GTD, right? everything should go the same place every time so that you know where to find it again. But you also need to organize this information and you can move even flagged emails and tasks into lists and groups. I have two types of groups, work and private. Work is where I have lists like work internal, customers, travel, expenses. And then I also have lists for articles, blogs, videos, stuff I want to consume and maybe stuff I need to learn and before I can move on with them. Under the personal group, I store tasks about my hobbies, projects and my current tasks that I have at home. When you have organized your tasks in Microsoft To Do into lists and groups, that's where you can find them again and prioritize them. And this is a big topic. So I created a YouTube list, which you find here, where I talk about capturing, organizing, prioritizing and executing on those tasks. Also, YouTube think you will find this video interesting. That's how you can work with Microsoft To Do and OneNote GTD style. 
If you learned something in this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.